Well, hey everybody, Chris from Pebble Creek here. Uh, so it's kind of a pretty cool episode today, um, or this week. Uh, so we got all the, the hull red applied. Um, we got our uh, our workstation board completed. We got the uh, uh, the mounts done, and as you can see, it's uh, it's attached. So this isn't going to be for display. This is going to be for work purposes. So we'll be able to drill holes and put guards in place and uh, whatever modifications we need to do that's going to aid in our building. Uh, I have other ideas for how it's actually going to be displayed later on, but it's going to use the same mounting technique. So, uh, so oh, yeah. yeah, so it was a, it was a little bit of fun there. Uh, we got uh, got the mounting all done, all the the parts are all epoxied in and uh, we're, we're moving forward so so anyways uh, I'd like to thank all our new subscribers too it looks uh, I couldn't believe the channel just kind of grew all of a sudden overnight there last week so welcome everybody thanks for liking and subscribing and uh, it's really appreciated uh, I got no intentions of ever uh, monetizing my channel so don't worry about that it's just uh, just cool to see those numbers go up eh? Um, so yeah so thanks again very much it's, it's, it's always encouraging when you see the views and the, the subscribers showing up it shows that people are liking what you're doing so anyways um, enough chit chat there uh, let, let's go take a look and see how we we got to this stage so far all right. Okay. <clears throat> so hopefully you can all see what I'm doing here. We're going to tape off Pretty sure nobody got to see anything there. Okay. Anyways. Sure you all remember how <clears throat> I left most of this untaped. And the reason was so that we can get the bottom of the boot line wrapped around so <clears throat> now that that's on and looking right i think i got sneeze hey! excuse me <clears throat> okay so what i'm going to do now is uh get some paper and some tape we're going to tape from this line down and then uh, I got myself some hull red mixed up. This is regular XF flat 7 red, 10 milliliters of that plus 5 milliliters of XF9 hull red and then a 5 milliliters of uh, thinner and uh, that's the color we got and we're gonna try we'll see what it looks like okay let me get this uh, gray figure out how I'm gonna tape this all off and then when we come back we'll be putting some red on all right we'll be right back okay so we're uh, we're all taped off as you can see um, we got our hull red here this is uh, 10 parts uh, flat red to 5 parts hull red let's see how it looks
Okay, I'm uh, I'm just gonna keep spraying this until it's done, and uh, maybe I'll uh, I'll come back in when I start spraying around this stuff, and we can see how we get around it. But uh, for the most part, this is gonna be a straight forward boring spray job. So uh, I'll get that done, and then uh, we'll come back when. We'll do uh, some of this here, and I will definitely remember when we pull the tape off this time. Okay, see you guys in a little bit. All right, so, um, yeah, I didn't film anything when I did the back of the propellers. I kind of actually just picked up the hull and sprayed it while I had everything on the go. But I did remember <laughs> turning the camera on to, uh, pull the, the maskings off. So, I the simplest thing. First, we uh, just carefully we'll pull this paper cocoon down. Horrible happens to it. We'll clean up real quick here. Say so, those sheets because they're good. As for masking up, no one's not. Okay. Well, there we go. There's the blue line. Okay, I'll get it uh, flipped over here and take some pictures. Uh, next, we're going to be locating our holes to drill for our pedestals. Uh, so these things here, these are the uh, towel holders and they got a, a good flat base there. So I think these are going to work. We'll have to drill a bigger hole. But Alright, I'll get it flipped over and we'll take a good look. Alright, so now we got the uh, hollow painted red here. Um, it's time to drill some holes in the boat. <laughs> so... I already marked it out because I just kind of marked it out. So I'm gonna we'll, we'll get some holes drilled here, 
Uh, I got it clamped out here. We'll clamp these and we'll get some holes drilled through that. Got our ready rod. Got our fasteners. Uh -huh. Then the Somewhere there's a couple fender washers as well, so we'll get those the epoxied in place. Uh, we got the JB Weld, uh, five minute of power, six minute epoxy. And it's for metal, wood, plastic, so that's what we need. And uh, we'll epoxy these to the bottom of the hole, and then that way this can be adjusted as well. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this or not. I hear it. As well, we also got the, uh, the laminated board up here, so we'll get some blocks underneath his feet. Uh, then we can get her mounted up to this, and uh, that way we can run our electrical through it. Okay, I'll uh, I'll get the camera set up a little bit uh, nicer, and uh, let's get some let's get some holes drilled in our really really expensive boat. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here goes. Right, there's the first one. And uh, I'll just rearrange the camera real quick. And, uh, now why? Still looks sooner than it is. Okay. Looking down on it, didn't look centered. I would rather double check it first. Okay. So these are uh, just pilot holes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put a, a new drill bit in and I'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> well, that was quick. Quicker than I. What do I do with that ready rod now? Got the new one here. Now that does fit through. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we still gotta go bigger. Okay, um, well, we might as well drill this hole too over well here. This should be the brake size. Not gonna fit? Sure it is. Okay. Well, a lot bigger drill bit than I wanted to use. Not for 
some reason I still have one right on that size. Okay, get this cleaned up here. Okay, now we gotta drill that one. Oof. Well, I remember in grade seven woodworking, we had to make these. Oh. Again. It's probably going to be more difficult than I would have thought. Oh, well, you know what? The darn thing fits through it anyway, so. Okay. So I'm going to get the, the boat cleaned up a little bit there, I'm going to flip it over and uh, we'll start epoxying some washers in. Alright. Okay. So as it turns out, uh, Sticks not the greatest. Okay. So that's gonna get dropped in the place there. Okay. Now, I'm 
Let's let's try something here. Let's just tape tape that nut down. Okay. Now, this is either going to work, or it's not going to work. Whoa. Yeah, we're just going to leave that tape down. For sure. Okay, um, I'm going to get the same done on the, the bow. And then we'll get things cleaned up and uh, we'll start seeing about getting it actually mounted to the board. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, our washers and our nuts are all epoxied in. I got this centered on our work board here. Just make a couple dots. Now we'll. Uh, We'll drill a few holes and uh, and let's get this mounted. Okay, let's move this out of the way. All right, so this is going to be the work board. Always, every model ship will always be mounted on it. There's one hole. We got some really nice pens here. We got uh, some bird's eye lace maple, a little more bird's eye maple. These are all burl, burl blanks. Asian laurel camphor. Yeah, these were really nice pieces. But you know what? I can knock them off this board at any time. And this is going to sit as a base. Okay. Now we got that new camera and 
I just haven't gotten my new computer yet. So until I get the, the computer, oh, that one I got stuck on there. Until the oh, there's ever look at that. We effectively took that out. Okay, well, that should just come pour out. So. I should be using wood glue. I just don't have any. I got glue and I got clamps. I just don't have uh, any wood glue at the moment. I guarantee you I never thought that this would, this would be what these pen blanks would end up being used for. But like I said, I can... That looks nice when it's wet, eh? That's uh, Steve Barr. Oh. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Rocco? Anyways, these can still be used to make pens. Knock them off afterwards. Okay. So little felt pads on here. Sure, I'm gonna go have to dig out some more of these little things. Okay, um, see if I can go find some more felt and uh, I'll get the rest of these pads on here. Yeah, see, that's gonna close a hole for now. Yeah, okay, I'll be back. And, uh, All right. I knew I had some more somewhere. Just cut these up here. This way the 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 pleather covering that I have on the desk just doesn't get 
ripped by the uh, the pen blanks. Okay. Here we'll just kind of zoom out like that. Okay, I'm gonna get this uh, flipped over and uh, have to get a little creative. I'll probably set across the gap, bridge the gap, and go underneath to get the nuts in place. But uh, okay, so. There's a bit of epoxy in there. So, we need uh, bell plus three quarters of an inch. That's three quarters right there.
again. All right, so, okay, so we're mounted. Um, next steps, what we're going to be doing is we got some styrene sheets. We're going to build a platform inside here. Uh, then we're going to be installing our LEDs as well as the fiber optics into all the different portholes here to get them lit up. Uh, we're also going to be running extra wires up for the superstructure and whatnot. So, but yeah, it's uh, it's ready to rock and roll. I also have ordered today uh, a four by eight sheet of plexiglass. So I'm going to build a wooden frame with uh, a plexiglass and case and window interior, and that's going to help us keep the dust out of this because. Uh, uh, Pretty soon we're going to be putting the uh, the uh, the deck on, so we're, dust will be soon become an enemy. Okay, um, I'm going to call uh, call this one as it is now. I think that was pretty good. We got it all wrapped up. I'm going to get some pictures here, and, uh, and then we'll we'll see you all next week. All right.